this week on the show, we have Danielle Jenkins, a manifestation coach from the popular YouTube series, Fly Girls Manifesting. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to leave you feeling inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that if you don't ask for what you want, the answer will always be no. The reality is the reason most people don't get what they truly want in life is because they're too afraid to ask, so they end up settling for what they can get versus what they want. Whether it's asking for more money in your career or something as simple as asking for what you want in a relationship, asking is key. Even in the event you don't get what you asked for, you have the knowledge to reassess the situation and find a better solution. When we fail to express what we expect or want, we have the chance of losing out on opportunities that could have been great should we have simply expressed our feelings and needs. Asking for what you want boils down to sticking to the standards you set for yourself and to this one concept, that you are worth all the great things life has to offer. No exceptions. Remember, success and opportunities are not available only to a select few, but to everyone should they have the courage to ask and go after it. As Wayne Gretzky quotes, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, talking about how you can manifest in three days. So tell us about that. How, how can we manifest quickly in three days um, to make our, our wishes come true? Manifesting in three days is simply up to a strong mental diet and by mental diet i mean that you're going to make the decision as the person who is the operant power of your reality meaning that your thoughts your words your feelings are creating your reality you're going to dedicate yourself for three days or less to only entertaining thoughts that are in alignment with the wish fulfilled the wish fulfilled means that you are only entertaining thoughts people circumstances that reflect what you would like to happen and with manifesting things in three days or less Neville talks about that it only takes three days for your subconscious mind to get the idea that this is your current reality if you do not waver from your mental diet so when Neville got us talked about mental diets uh i'm sorry three, uh, manifesting in three days or less he was really saying that you are the operant power of your mind and if you refuse to accept nothing except for your wish fulfilled desired reality you would see evidence of your manifestation in three days or less mm. do you have discipline to have a strong mental diet that's what it is about manifesting in three days or less and trust me your subconscious mind will get the idea if you are just focused on the end result next up on the show we have manifestation coach danielle jenkins also known as Coach Danny from the popular YouTube series, Fly Girls Manifesting. Danny, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I was just telling you that I'm a big fan of your work, that I binge watch your YouTube videos. <laughs> so we're going to get into all of the work you do. But before we get into that, let's talk about how did you get into this manifestation um, field? What kind of uh, sparked your interest? Well, the truth be told, I think it's kind of how uh, most of us got into manifestation is the book, The Secret. When I was in college many, many moons ago, we won't talk about when that was. <laughs> I will just say that it was so it changed my perception on like, wait, I'm creating my own reality with my thoughts. So I started with The Secret and then I went down the rabbit hole of, OK, so if my thoughts create my reality, well, what else do I need to know about that? And so I just started to research and I was introduced to Joseph Murphy, Joe Dispenza, Florence Scovel Shin, and then that just kind of opened up my world to understanding that it's not just us here in our 3D reality, there's something else going on. And over the course of time, I was able to really understand that if I want to be the best version of myself, I have to start understanding how my own mind works. Not only just my mind, the subconscious mind. And um, during that time, I had a little bit of anxiety also around just personal issues. 
So then that led me into discovering holistic ways of dealing with anxiety. Mm -hmm. And um, I stumbled across EFT. Mm -hmm. So for me, like emotional freedom techniques really and truly changed my life because I understood that over my time of studying how the mind works, that we do have like trapped emotions. Mm -hmm. And I was able to really heal my anxiety through EFT tapping. Then people started to hear my story and my testimony and they said, oh, you should do this for other people. And then there goes the life purpose, which is from the time that I understood that I was a co-creator with my reality, that I could really bring in the things that I desire. I sought out to do that for other people. And so the tapping just made me realize that we do have more connection to ourselves when it comes to the things that we are internally feeling than we really know that meets the eye. So that's how I got into being a mindset and manifestation coach, the long and short of it. And that's what I do now to this day. I help millions and millions of people in my mind. That's my manifestation to create their true reality by the power of their mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and That's for our viewers it. that don't know, I have seen some videos of EFT tapping where people tap their head and all kinds of stuff. So can you explain to us what EFT tapping is and how it works? So here's the thing. Before I even start, most people will say that it's woo-woo science, but there there is an actual study that has been done on how your body holds trapped emotion. And when it holds that emotion, it affects the way that you feel about things. And so EFT tapping has a history in Chinese holistic modalities with your meridian spots. So there, there are parts in your body that you can tap on, kind of like a physical acupuncture, where when you tap on them, when you tap, when you tap, when you tap, as you're saying the things that you would like to release, your body responds subconsciously wow. to release those emotions so that they do not have a future impact on your energetic field. Because mm. we are all energetic beings. Yeah. The EFT tapping is just to help you to release the things that you may be holding on to you from your past or from memories or just limiting beliefs that do not serve you. And there's a whole process that you can go through. But the main thing I tell people when you start EFT tapping is to just remember one thing. When you tap on your collarbone, this is I release and let it go. It's a natural thing that your body does right here in this part of your, your body. So you could quietly say I release and let it go. When you have an emotion that comes up in your mind that you feel a little anxiety about just tap here with your two fingers i release and let it go silently say that in your mind i release and let it go there are meridian spots that will trigger your body to release yawning crying or laughing are natural responses to your body releasing energy hmm. interesting so i would just say that that's a short that, that's a short way to explain to you how eft tapping works is that it helps you to release and tapping on any parts of your body, the meridian spots, you can start here, you can start here. You don't you don't even have to believe that this works. Your body will naturally respond to it. And just say to yourself, I release and let it go as you tap on anything that you do not really want to hold emotionally in your body. Very interesting. I want to talk about also some of your work. I know that uh, a lot of your YouTube videos, you talk about Dr. Joe Dispenza, uh, Dr. Joseph Murphy, uh, Neville Goddard. So what are some principles that they all commonly teach? Oh, my favorite ones. There's so many that they all teach. My main one is that they all seamlessly put together the power of your imagination. Mm, yeah. The fact that whenever you go into a meditative state, whenever you are in a drowsy state or a hypnotic state, you are able to really create your world. Joe Dispenza talks about how he healed himself yeah. from a really bad motorcycle accident where they told him that he was not going to be able to walk. And while he was laying flat on his back for many, many months, he was able to go into his imagination 
and recreate his uh, his spine and his vertebrae perfectly to the point where the doctors were shocked. Uh, Joseph Murphy, he's really one of those people that made me realize the power of your imagination and what you're able to create with scenarios. Any scenario in your life, you can recreate it in your mind. And then we go to Neville. Neville Goddard is really the one person that I really started to realize that the same imagination that created the things that you don't desire because you're doing this inner conversation stuff is, is the same imagination that can recreate things that work out in your favor. So all three of these people have merged beautifully the concept of using your beautiful imagination to create the reality that you desire to have. Mm -hmm. And speaking about your imagination, one thing you talk about and a lot of these teachers talk about is revision that you can go back in your mind. For example, if something you don't like happens in the day, you can go back in your mm -hmm. mind and revise it to make it work out in your favor. So let's talk a little bit about that and how our viewers can use revision to, you know, change their their future. Here's what I'll say about revision is it's the same thing with your memories and your thoughts and the things that you hold on to your traumas. You may have had a bad memory in your life and you don't want to have that memory every time you think about it, create this emotional trigger. Cause anything that you, that you're triggered by that creates an emotional charge for you, it's creating in your present moment. Mm -hmm. And with revision, what this does for you is that anytime you feel like there's a scenario or an, an incident in your life that you hold a strong, you hold a strong memory or emotion to that does not serve you, go back into your mind and recreate the certain situation as if you were doing it like almost like you're scripting it or like you're the recreator of your reality. So you're gonna do this in the sense of creating the scenario as if it were happening the way you desired it to happen. Case in point, if someone did something to you or said something to you, you did not like that, you could go back into your imagination and recreate the story as if you and the person never had this, this story or this, this complete conversation at all. You could also go back and say, hey, me and this person, we love each other, we care for each other. Actually, this never happened. We went out to eat, we had a great conversation because your imagination is creating all this stuff anyway. So any scenario that you did not like that has a strong feeling for you, you go back and create the favorable outcome that you would like. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you're actually helping yourself to manifest in a better way so that that bad incident that you did not like does not recreate itself in your manifestations in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great because I mean, if you're going back and thinking about something negative, you might as well revise it as something positive so that you can manifest something in the future that's better. Right. So I think it's like a win win yeah. by doing that. I want to talk about something that's trending on social media, on TikTok, everywhere. And it's ask formations. It's all over yeah. the place. Um, so can you tell us what ask formations are and the difference between regular affirmations and ask formations? Okay. So a regular ask, uh, affirmation is I am beautiful. I love my beautiful life. Things always work out in my favor. I am powerful. I am confident. You're just saying things that you would like for your reality to reflect. With an affirmation, ASK formation, what you're doing is you're releasing the resistance around maybe some of those affirmations that you don't believe at first. So with an affirmation, when you're asking your subconscious mind a question, it goes to the file of all the things that it has recorded over the course of your life. And it says, okay, if she's asking a question, he's asking a question, where's the file for that? Okay, we have to make it true. Your subconscious mind is very obedient. It literally gives you the answers to all of your questions. This is why ask formations are very effective. When you want to manifest or desire to manifest something, releasing the resistance around the things that you don't yet believe is really key. 
the sooner your subconscious mind will, will accept your affirmation or your affirmation, the sooner you start to see results in your life when it comes to manifesting things in a very beautiful way. This is why I have been very, very keen on giving people affirmation MP3s for them to listen to because it releases the resistance around what your subconscious mind will produce for you in your current reality, mm -hmm. if that answers your question. So affirmations are more effective because it releases the resistance around your subconscious mind recreating your desired reality. Yeah. One thing I love about your YouTube channel, Fly Girls Manifesting, is that you always have excerpts of, of reference of text from the teachers mm -hmm. that you talk about. So for Neville Goddard, I did see that he had an excerpt um, talking about how you can manifest in three days. So tell us about that. Mm -hmm. how, how can we manifest quickly in three days um, to make our, our wishes come true? Manifesting in three days is simply up to a strong mental diet. And by mental diet, I mean that you're going to make the decision as the person who is the operant power of your reality, meaning that your thoughts, your words, your feelings are creating your reality. You're going to dedicate yourself for three days or less to only entertaining thoughts that are in alignment with the wish fulfilled. The wish fulfilled means that you are only entertaining thoughts, people, circumstances that reflect what you would like to happen. And with manifesting things in three days or less, Neville talks about that it only takes three days for your subconscious mind to get the idea that this is your current reality. If you do not waver from your mental diet. So when Neville got it, talked about mental diet, uh, I'm sorry, three, uh, manifesting in three days or less, he was really saying that you are the operant power of your mind and if you refuse to accept nothing except for your wish fulfilled desired reality, you would see evidence of your manifestation in three days or less. Mm. Do you have discipline to have a strong mental diet? That's what it is about manifesting in three days or less. And trust me, your subconscious mind will get the idea if you are just focused on the end result. Yeah, I think the one thing with manifesting that most people struggle with is the doubt, right? We all have that doubt in the back of our minds. Will it really happen? If we want to manifest 50K, it's like, will it happen if we want to manifest yeah. a text from someone? And that's, I feel like that's just a natural human emotion where we all have doubt. So how do we kind of combat that and really stick to, as Neville talks about, the wish fulfilled and really just really sticking to that? Here's what I tell people to do. Anything that you ever desire to have in your life, when you really wanted it, you you refuse to accept no as an answer. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to releasing doubt, I want you to imagine yourself as a kid, as a person who whenever your mom or your dad said, you know, whenever you asked them for something, your mom and your dad said, okay, baby, and they gave it to you. Imagine yourself being a kid, innocent, that can conjure up those feelings of, I don't care what anything is going on. I deserve to have this. I, I am manifesting this. Kids have no filter with manifesting. They literally don't doubt that anything's gonna happen of, in their favor. They don't doubt that. So become childlike, just dream big. Don't ever say that because somebody else is doing something and oh, they had to do X, Y, Z, I can't do that. Become like a child, that wonder of, oh, everything I touch is mine. Everything I desire is mine. Releasing doubt means that you are becoming the person who understands that we are limitless. There are no limits on what you can manifest, only limits on what you are doing right now to allow yourself to receive that. So become like a child, just pick and choose. They say on um, TikTok, become delusional. I would say that delusional doesn't mean like neglecting things. It actually means refusing to allow yourself to spiral into the, it can't happen for me. Yeah. If, if that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking about uh, whether it can happen for you or not, I feel like manifesting really boils down to your self-concept and, and really believing that it's possible for yourself, that you're worthy 
of everything that life has to offer, right? So yeah. I want to talk about, you know, what are some tips that you can give our audience to improve your self-concept and really putting yourself on a pedestal? Improving your self-concept is becoming your own cheerleader. It's literally waking up every day and saying, okay, my name is Danny. Okay, Danny, what are we doing today? How are we going to change the world? How are we going to manifest our best life? It's being comfortable with speaking to yourself in a way that you would speak to a person that you love and adore. And the worthiness comes around not comparing yourself to other people because your birthright is to be abundant. I have found that most people that focus on really encouraging themselves and telling themselves I am worthy, things always work out in my favor. Remember repetition of anything, you don't have to believe it at first, but repetition of anything will start to show you evidence in your reality. So start to tell yourself that I deserve nice things. Things are always working out in my favor. And the worthiness will start to come when you start to affirm for yourself and start to develop a healthy form of inner conversation, self-concept. Self-concept is how you treat yourself, how you expect other people to treat you, and how you would like for your world to unfold when it comes to people, places, and circumstances. So affirm for yourself that things are always working out in your favor. Mm -hmm. I think that's the beautiful thing about manifestation is once you realize that you are the operant power, that you have mm -hmm. all of this power within you to make your dreams happen, because whether people believe it or not, you're manifesting every single day, right? Absolutely. Based on your belief on yourself, you're manifesting good things, bad things. So you might as well have a strong self-concept and believe that everything is possible because it really is. And we see stories like that every day of people manifesting amazing things. Mm -hmm. So I think if, as long as you know that if it's possible for someone else, it's possible for you as well. So I think that's it. And can I say, can I say one more thing about self-concept? It's not to be confused with like, um, like self-care. Self-care is, you know, obviously taking care of yourself, but self-concept is really how you see yourself in any circumstance. So if you're looking to manifest money, a SP, love, or any of that self, in your self-concept, are you embodying the person who would receive that based on how you feel you deserve to be treated? Yeah. It's always about you. Everyone is you pushed out. It's always about you and what's going on internally with you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I wanted to add. Yeah, and Danny, you know, I created my platform to inspire and to be a beacon of light for anyone that's watching that anything is possible. So I want to ask you for someone that's struggling to manifest their desires, maybe they're working really, really hard to make it happen and they're just feeling unmotivated. What would you say to inspire and uplift them? It's to know that it's it's so yummy on the other side of comparing yourself to what the world is telling you you should be when you decide to go within mm. just go within create some quiet time i tell my clients five minutes at a minimum create a daily habit of where you're in the shower or you're washing dishes or you're laying in the bed create quiet time for you to be able to connect to the center of who you are and you will be able to really manifest the things you desire to have Remember, we are not 3D beings. We are beyond the 3D. So anything you desire to have, you need to go within. Trust your instincts. Start to speak to yourself in a way that is loving and kind. Remember the principles of the law of assumption. Anything you assume to be true over the course of time with repetition will, will harden into a fact. So whispering to yourself uh, affirm affirmations, words of encouragement, as you're in a drowsy state, state akin to sleep. State akin to sleep is basically like when you're falling asleep and you're drowsy, you're about to go on your pillow, or right when you're waking up and you're in that hazy state. Use those times to just affirm that all is well, things are working out in my favor. That's what I would say. You know, there's so many other things in the world that we could worry about. The one thing that I say that stays constant is that when you create a connection to you and your higher self, your infinite intelligence, nothing outside of you has any power. You're the person who can 
start to call in the things you desire to have by developing a relationship with yourself in state akin to sleep or just like being quiet with yourself and asking questions to yourself. Mm -hmm. Who am I? What do I need? What do I desire? And listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it, it's amazing that when you ask yourself questions, how the answer comes about because we deep down we know our subconscious knows right sometimes just asking yeah. yourself what to do next what should i do next or who am i the words just kind of you get the answer so i think really connecting with yourself is the most important yeah. thing and i hope our viewers can take that away from this conversation is it all starts with you and coach you know coach danny like for all of our viewers that want to be coached by you i know you have a lot of workshops and you're a great coach so where can they do so well you guys can follow me on youtube first and foremost, at Fly Girls Manifesting on YouTube. And also, I have a um, coaching program that I do outside of YouTube called The Sweet Spot. You can find that out on going to flygirlsmanifesting.com. And on that platform, I'm actually building a community of beautiful-minded people, like-minded people. We do weekly challenges, monthly challenges, and I am in the DMs of our platform where I'm just in there just teaching people how to reprogram their subconscious mind. So Fly Girls Manifesting on YouTube, flygirlsmanifesting.com. You can find out anything you need to know about how to reprogram your subconscious mind to create the reality that you would love to live in. <laughs> I love it. We're going to link all that information below so our viewers can uh, take a look at your programs. They're also really well priced and you're so knowledgeable in all of your videos. I really enjoy the work you're doing. So congratulations, Danny, on all of your work Thank and you. that, you know, you're really being a beacon of light for people in need and really inspiring people. So continue the amazing work and thank you for being on the show. And thank you, beautiful lady, for having me. Pack TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live to YouTube and Facebook.